can't you give it a rest, you little turd? No, I remember. Oh, what? Default name, Freya. sleep in the bar?
again. Oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I know how to do synthesis. Synthesis, the idea of combining two items together, two weapons, like, together to make a more powerful weapon. I'm going to be doing that quite a bit with Zidane's weapons, because he makes some pretty awesome stuff. Moogle. Alexandria is clearly... oh, something. Ah, nothing like that. What was it called? A Bobo? <laughs> well, Alexandria has kind of like a Victorian look to it. Ah, damn it. Nasty pickle. Very nice. While Alexandre has kind of a like a Victorian look to it, and the same could be said for a lot of Lindblom, there is a pretty distinct difference. Lindblom has much more of a steampunk style look to it. The uh, buildings even have a kind of a funny look to them, round in weird places and all that kind of stuff. Oh, so I already that um, Steiner was at. And it's also a much bigger town. There are several different districts. We're at the... I forget what this place is called. But, um... Lindblom is a larger city, and it's also larger in terms of the... Tiffany, hello. It's also larger in terms of the area, like, storyline-wise. It's a much bigger place. Yeah, it's like a church. Don't really need to talk to these people. Most of these people tell you nothing important, but you can if you want. I probably did went around and talked to every single person the first time I came through this game. Hoping to find some, like, little knowledge or item or whatever. Storyline-wise, Lindblom is a much more technologically advanced place. So it is basically the all the technological innovations in the world come out of Lindblom, or at least it seems that way. Alexandria does have airships, but for the most part, the airships that they have come from Lindblom. The airship that we rode here is, was like a gift or something to for the possibly the first airship that was given to uh, from. Lindblom to Alexandria. Okay, this wasn't the statue I thought it was. I had a lot of screens to run across, not a lot to do on each of the screens. Now, this is a synth shot. In the event that you have, like, said weapons here, you can, or armor, you can go and put this stuff together. Like, yellow scarf, feathered hat, and steeple hat. Combine them together, you can make a yellow scarf. 
what the yellow stuff does isn't obvious. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. The butterfly sword or the oversword is the two mage mashers. Probably shouldn't have sold the ones I had. Bird Killer and Steel Gill it also increases strength and magic defense. I am definitely equipping that. If I could find a weapon shop, I can get two, uh, two of the things that I need to make some synthesis weapons. Uh, synth weapons tend to be better than the daggers and stuff that you find normally. But you don't always, of course, want to go and use those because you won't get all the abilities that you're looking for. I think I'm good on all of this stuff. But whatever. Alright, let's get out of this district. This is starting boring. Oh, weapon shop. Ah, a cloud reference. Very nice. Uh, mage mashers. If I could buy, let's let's find a. Uh, okay. Just get the armor and shit that we need. Steeple hat. Let's get the two mage mashers. Spent a lot of money here, <laughs> but you know. You gotta spend money to make money, or whatever. Actually, the steeple cap doesn't really do me a lot of good here. I, I want to get these first. Beast killer. Ah, jeez. Sticking with outdated weapons for this purpose is such a pain in the ass. Yeah, I'll change it. What are we missing in terms of weapons? Bandit. Bandit, I don't really care about. Bandit allows you to steal gill when you flee from a battle, so I'm not going to cry if I can't get that status equipped on my, um, on my character permanently. But let's hit the synth shop, and we can synth the ogre up by combining two mage mashers. Boom, costs 700 gill. Let's take a look at that. Even though it's made out of outdated weapons, it actually increases our attack quite significantly. It's also not two daggers, but two daggers combined, so it's uh, like a dark maul type thing. Matter of crystals. We'll be good. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. Let's get the hell out of here. It is apparent now at this point that Dagger was trying to escape Alexandria because her mother has gone frickin' uh, she's kind of been hanging with the wrong crowd. She talks about how so some strange man that's been hanging around the castle and she's fearful for what her mother might be getting into and all that kind of stuff. Oh! Maybe shopping. Train station, or sort of an air train station, or whatever. Oh shit, where did I go? <laughs> That's how you move between different districts. I'm not sure where I just sent myself. We'll find out when we get there. Probably to the castle. 
Theater District. Uh, I'm actually, I don't want to go to the Theater District yes, quite yet. It was in the Business District. Let's go to the Industrial District. And check that place out. This is some stuff in the Theater District that I feel like seeing this guy. This will be a fairly long episode. I'm just pretty soon to get sad. You probably already know that by looking at the progress bar at the bottom of the video, but whatever. I feel like I'll mention it anyway. Sid the Eighth. Ah, da 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 da. Sid the... Sid the Ninth, I guess the current region. Uh, I'm not quite sure what year it is supposed to be, but airships have been common for long enough that basically all transportation is based around the idea of airship travel as opposed to traveling on foot or even by ship. Ah, no weapon shop in this district. Airships have not been along quite as long as it may seem. I mean, the entire economy of this place seems to have been built around the idea of airships and all that kind of stuff, even though it's not really, um, hasn't been along as long as you probably expect. We've already been in here during that cutscene. This district is, ah, damn it, went the wrong direction. This district is not quite as large as the business district, I think. All of the airships run off of mist. I'm stealing your stuff, bro. All airships in this world run off of mist, which means the, the sort of dense fog that spawns monsters. All that kind of stuff. Mist was also what was used to create the black mages. Mist is so prolific and it's everywhere, pretty much in the mist continent, that and it's also dangerous, so like it's used for the airships to fly above it and to avoid the dangers of traveling on foot. And it seems to be like an infinite resource. Unfortunately, using mist engines has essentially locked everybody off from the rest of the world. You can't really travel outside the mist continent on an airship, and it's dangerous to travel on foot or by ship anymore. So, pretty much, people don't leave the Mist Continent anymore. Um... Let's go to the castle. Even though I don't really want to see the stuff in the castle. The reason why I want to go to the castle is because I think the castle is where we get the chance to. See the uh, travel to the lower gates. I think. I might be wrong about that. Everyone else seems to think this airship is a piece of crap. That guy loves it. Um, uh, no, I think this is the wrong area. Damn it! Alright, I was wrong about this place. The 
construction of the steam engines that they were talking about could open up the world again for the travel of people and, and uh, eliminate the dependency on mist engines. But uh, it's still early. Although they did manage to make a steam, uh, shit, <laughs> they still man did manage to make steam engines, prototypes, and an actual airship, the Hildegard, that could fly without steam. It's still, like, early in the concept's time, and they haven't quite reached a point where it's uh, proliferated. Here is Tantalus's uh, hideout. door open though, and all your stuff's still here. They told these kids about that? Might as well steal everything in the room while I'm here. Shouldn't have left it sitting around anyway. Just Gil, what's that shit about? Right. I think that's it. There's a big bell in the corner of the room. It's a terrible place to sit.
Well, fortunately, it looks like the rest of the Tantalus managed to find their way out, of course, without blank. But um, they found their way to one of the gates, and they were going to be able to escape out of the area below the mist line. Bill's Marissa. First of all, they're obsessed about some actor, Lowell Bridges, who um, went out there and showed himself to the fans. Then, uh, what? I wish I were a Chocobo. <laughs> then stuck out wearing a Moogle suit. Of course, Zidane looks at him and goes, what's he? Nobody cared about Zidane. And they're like, we don't care about you. And he goes, what's he got that I don't? Of course, he's a... Obviously, some sort of a famous actor who is just trying to escape. But I mean, it does kind of show her a thing or two about how sort of childish Zidane is in a lot of ways. Of course, he's what, like 16 or 17 or something like that? The theater district, the artist. Oh, you gave me an autograph I didn't want. shit right in front of you. Oh, I got your Moogle suit. What are you going to do about that, bro? Can't sneak around anymore, can you? Alright. Anything over here? I don't think so. Maybe, it was, I guess it was the business district that you could travel down to the lower gates. I will, uh, I'll go down there and talk a little bit about what's going on with that before I bring the episode to an end. Okay, this is the, the upper gate, not really where I wanted to go. You get to wander around on the map and stuff. Uh, not really important. Who is this? I guess, uh, actually, I've never even been out here, I don't think. Where the hell am I going? Ah, old man ghost. I mean, obviously, I went through the gate on the high ground. I know where I am. It's a par uh, an area that you're going to hang around in later on in the game. But, uh, you know, whatever.
wasn't where I was planning on going. But this is the high surf skate anybody who's traveling here on foot will probably be going through this way. Although it doesn't really seem like there's much of a path to any of the other kingdoms from this high up. Battle. I didn't want to do a battle. Is Adon alone here? Get his ass kicked and be careful. Oh, I do get a chance to see that weapon, though. Oh shit, I gotta run. Flee, you little bastard, flee! Ow, fun. Justin's taking a little bit more damage than I was comfortable with. But this, uh... This weapon is pretty good at killing things. I know this looks like a Darth Maul suit. Let's get two aggies. aggies stuck. And on that, with the staff in the middle. Two, two swords, actually. Alright. Get back in the limbo. There's gotta be another gate that I'm not I'm missing here. Hunter's Gate. How do I get the Dragon's Gate? Dragon's Gate is what I'm trying to get to. Maybe it is at the castle. 